Hey everyone, Ryan here with part 1 of my walkthrough of Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception. So, this is part of the Nathan Drake collection which I'm once again playing on the PS5 instead of the PS4. So, if we get started... New, yep. And we can dive straight in. Back form. More parkour antics. And trekking across the, um, this time the Middle East. All men dream, but not equally. Go on. Those who dream by night, in the dusty recesses of their minds. So similar to, to find the previous game. This time we're once again after but the dreamers of the day. Lost cities are dangerous men. So you can probably guess for they may act their dreams gold. With open eyes to make it possible. And there's London in the this background. I did. This is from um, Lawns of Arabia. Ooh. Here's Nate and Sully. Where's his cigar? There it is. All suited and booted. That's and some pool going on, and then we go to the pub. Has anyone? Did I say has anyone seen Ted's men? Yeah, going into a pub suit and boot is always going to attract attention. Hands up. Ooh. Enjoying yourself now? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're a comedian. He's always a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. Ooh. I'm guessing you're Talbot. Mr. Sullivan. And Mr. Drake. Yeah. That's right. Do you have it? Let's uh, see the money first. Cutter. Inside the briefcase. All those pounds. It's all there. Old pounds. Now let's see it. Considering they changed the banknotes recently. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Go ahead. Silver, 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Is that real well, enough to you? It appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> really? My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Ooh. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Whoa, whoa, you are right. Uh-oh. This is phony as a $3 bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And, and you? There's gonna be a fight. You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring. Take the case and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Yep. Do as the man says, son. I think there's gonna be a, a barroom brawl. You're a thief. And what about well, you, now, Drake? That's ironic. Ooh! Yep. Time to go fisticuffs. Ooh, ow. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Ooh. Oh, no. Ouch. Yeah, you and me. Knock his lights out. Ouch. Get off, pal. Oh, 
time to rest. Yeah. Ooh, ouch. Ow. Get off. In the... In the kisser. Ooh. He got snickered. Why are you here, pal? Nope, he still hasn't had enough. He has now. Let's get out of here. So all three casual Oh, no. Hey there, big fella. Oh hi! Quick, hit him! Yeah. How bad are these right now? You don't do that to Victor Thor. <laughs> you don't do that to Drake either. Uh oh. This is bad. Uh oh. Come on, now, let's wake up, will ya? Ooh, down here. Ooh, got Ooh, ah, you get Hit the the parliament get involved. Ooh, ouch. There's a private party or can I join in? Oh, be my guest. Yep, join the fun. Take him down. Ooh, come on, Dad. What do you think you're doing? Ooh. Got out of hand in a hurry. Don't think I went to the hundred, you Nate. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna smell horrible. Man, that is nasty. Come on. That is. Just give me a second there, mate. I'll be right with you. Before we kick him in the nuts. Oh no. Come on! Oh god! Okay, ready for more. Yeah, let's do this. Oh uh, uh, god. This is exhausting. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. More fifty cuffs. You. Ooh. Ah, you. Ooh. Have a nice day. You hurt? Just my pride. Come on. So with that little fifty cups over. You get out the back. Might as well do the PR stuff quickly. So. Oh, if you guys do like what you see, please like this video, subscribe, all the good stuff. I'd be very grateful. Thank you very much. So that's for PO over, and as well as those bozos. Oh, hi. Oops. Crap. Oh, damn it. Yeah, not good. Ah, get. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. He's had enough. Uh oh. Haven't you, mate? That's an insult enough. Don't. Stay down. And here's Talbot. As well as this game's very classy villain, Marlow. Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Well, that's an insult enough. Not dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Yes, I can, as you can see, Marlo, very different villain oh, compared to, man. let's say, Lazarevich. 
<laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or Bobby the Ring. Bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. How is it yours to begin with love? That back. Oh, God. oh no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up. You fool. Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. <clears throat> Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. I know oh. what you're thinking. Don't worry. They're fine. Looks like we'll see them back up in a moment. Anyways. Here we are in the lovely Colombia. Catagina. In Colombia. No nutters in sight. A.K.A. Pablo Escobar. Or probably the Cali Cartel. If any of you have seen Narcos. Probably a, a young Nathan Drake. I think he's about to go away to the museum. Yep. All right. Here we go. Chapter two. Here we go. What are we going to Nick? Ooh, that's the door. And right. Oh, white stick. Anything of use? No. Oh, treasure. There's treasure. Ah. Okay, okay, where we go? Up the stairs. Maybe upstairs. What is up, sisters? Ooh. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me much. So through this door. It's gotta be in one of these cases. What was that? Huh. That's not it. Wait, here it is. Ooh. The ring. Drake's ring. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, nice try, Nate. Ooh, more notes. That looks like a young Victor Sullivan. What's he up to? up and tells me he's going to use more conventional methods to nick the ring. Ooh, like a lockpick. Thought he was going to smash the glass. But you know that would cause way too much attention. Really? Didn't do anything. Ah. Honest to God. Get out of here. 
git. Pendejo. Oh, there he is. Oh, Sully. Guess we're following Sully. I gotta keep up with him. There he is, minding his own business. Through the door. Ah, there he is. I do. Yep. Nick the apple. Ooh. The apple's crap anyway. anyway. Oh, now where did he go? He's over there, Nate. Looks like he's about to go into that crowd. Let's get back to Where is he going? Where are you going, Sully? Probably somewhere to smoke a cigar. Okay, can we go through here? Uh, yeah. Now what's he doing? Even bigger question. Ah, there he is. Is this another way into the museum? Oh, damn. It's locked. Looks like he's going upstairs. Mm. Mm. Gonna have to find another way up. Well, we have some lunches, so... Time to get the parkour boots out. Go this way towards the pipe. Nope. This way. Yeah. Yep, don't mind me just doing a bit of park on the middle of the street. Here we go. Oh shit. Did not mean to do that. Get down! Don't want them to see you. Anywhere from you go, probably not. This one again. Here we go. Aquí lo tiene. Key to get the, the safe open. Adios, amigo. Okay, I gotta get that wallet. Crap, I can't go down that way. Like so. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, you missed us all of them. There he is. More treasure. Sweet. To here. He's cutting through that building. I bet I can spot him from the roof. 
we jump over? Yes. Right, so... Where are you, Sully? Oh. Ooh, hello. Your friend? You don't look like Marlo. Get down from here. Right. Up the stairs. Don't want to lose him. Yep, back into the crowd. More guards, probably. So, I gotta find a way to get that wallet. You mean get close enough to nick the wallet? Okay, it's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Thanks for the key. Now to get back in the museum. Crap! Swag to me, viejo! Let's try that again. <laughs> Let go of me! Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. I'll be taking the wall back by now, thank you. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me that. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. Mm. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. For what? Hey, don't call me that. Your technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. Yep, I did it over. My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, they might wonder why a middle-aged tourist is following young boys down alleyways. Ooh, that's low. You are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. Still want that wallet, though. The wallet. Thank you. Had to try. Of course you did. Yep. Nate still has the key. Telegraphing all my moves, huh? Now to get back into that museum. All right, museum's closed. So let's get in there. Almost there. There we go. Which way? This way? Yeah. I think so. Oh, shit. Yeah. Don't do that. Can we go up the roof? Oh! Don't do that either. We'll figure this out. Unless we have to go on that way. Maybe. I think we're getting somewhere now. And then there it is. Swing over the lamp posts. 
Oh, just the one. Ah, oh, that was close. Okay, back inside. Okay. Is that treasure by any chance? What's all this treasure? Oh well. Let's crack it open. There we go. You gonna stick moving in or? Yep. Whoa. And look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Uh oh. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Ta. Now, the ring. Gone. Just like that. What ring? <laughs> Ooh. Catherine! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. <laughs> Stop him! Yep, he's too classy for his own good. Oh, oh good, I mean, sorry. Stop the boy! Oh shit. Holy crap. Oh wait, let's go. He has the ring! Oh, yeah. Break the door down. Come on, let's go. Oh god. Run! He's heading for the roof! Catch him! Change! Break Come it. on! Hurry. Let go! Yeah, screw you. Shit. Now let's do some rooftop one in. Oh crap. This way. Where the hell are these guys? You know, bad people. No <laughs> you little bastard. You can catch me. Na, 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 na. Yeah, because you know, the big men. The table, though. Ah, there we go. We've got him. Excuse me, coming through. Hey, guess sorry about that. Yep, sorry. Ah, shit. Go, go, go. Ah. Sucks to be him. Another firewood. They are firing their bullets. There you go. Look what we have here. <laughs> Whoops. You all right? 
I think the guy in my suit's gonna die. What are you shaking for? I was gonna give a death. Shot. Bro. Boom. Just off the roof. Close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Shot. Bye, silly. Come on. You'll be all right, kid. You okay, kid? Screw, screw the witch. And come with me. Kid, we're safe here. Go on, suit yourself. If you don't want it, Ooh. here we go. Nice Colombian dinner, and there's the fabled cigar. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. <laughs> I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. A classy crook. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister. No offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This should be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Hey. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, I guess that's the well, not his wife back in England. Anyway. What the record say? <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. And probably would have done it in a more private place. Not in front of loads of people. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. Great. It means we just greatness small beginnings. small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see... Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? Knows his stuff. The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. Probably no eating, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for him. Look, kid. A client wants something, I obtain it. For a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well. Anyway. I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Yeah, good point. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. Mm -hmm. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. Go on. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen, big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered, big. That big? That big. Basically, your retirement fund. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then. For now. You know, go after all the time's right. So you still haven't told me what your name is. And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. 
You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah. Clearly. You do know Marlowe's best friend's going to be chasing after you. Again. My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? Okay. Now back to the cigar. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. You know, golden statues, lost cities, all that stuff. Oh. Up Marlo. Um, they're gone. You can wake up now, you two. All right, lads. That must be a very dark paintball. Yeah. Bet you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. You mean the police. Get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly <laughs> touched you. You headbutted me. <laughs> all right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Yeah. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. All right, Brad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. I told you they'd take the bait. Still has the wind. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just fall them back to their hole. You do realize you're making everything sound dirty. I do? Really, Sully? Hurry it up, Nate. Shit. So, on that front, I'll pause for now, and I'll, um, up things up there. So, thanks for watching, and tune in next time.